cash. Well, at the beginning of September, BOI will be holding its annual private equity conference in Mauritius. Last year, the theme of the conference was Mauritius, your gateway to African opportunities. Joining us now to discuss private equity opportunities on the island is Tarun Golati, who's the president and chief executive of Brahma Securities. Well, Tarun, we hear much about what's going on in the IT space in uh, Mauritius. There's lots of excitement in, uh, young, amongst young people being able to start uh, businesses in that area, but is there capital to support them? Yeah, firstly, just a quick correction. I'm the group president and CEO for Brahma Corporation and also the vice chairman for Brahma Banking Corporation. Uh, now, just to come to your quick question, the IT space is growing in Mauritius and banks are indeed, and the government are providing funding. Uh, indeed, even uh, BA Investment has provided funding to young entrepreneurs to, to you know, boost that particular space. So I think uh, particularly to, to make sure there is enough going on between Mauritius and Africa. Private equity generally in Mauritius, is it on the up? No, private equity. Private equity, as you know, globally has seen a little bit of a slowdown over the past four years. Uh, GPs and LPs uh, are obviously looking to get uh, more beta, but beta is difficult because of the economic conditions. They've got to rely on alpha. And uh, on the uh, limited partners, they are actually rating uh, sub-Saharan Africa above, if you will, Russia, India, and indeed just on, on a scale of one to 10, I think they're rated around seven or eight. So sub-Saharan Africa is the flavor of the month and I think Africa's star is rising indeed. And presumably that's very good for your business. Well, it's very good for our business, but more importantly from the Board of Investments perspective, the fact that they're organizing a, a conference, two day conference in September uh, to showcase and make sure that funds can be set up here. They want to bring together uh, the LPs, GPs, sovereign wealth funds, uh, lawyers and other facilitators to make sure this actually becomes a win-win for all. What's the reaction been like from uh, potential investors, not necessarily just in India, because we, we know about the relationships between Mauritius and India, but from other parts of the world? I think, uh, as you know, Mauritius has a uh, long uh, history uh, where it's been facilitating FDI flows into India. But uh, there's been a bit of slowdown, as you know, in emerging markets where private equity is concerned. Bar North America, which has seen, uh, you know, there have been good uh, buyout funds that have been uh, picking up. I think uh, uh, there is, again, uh, as you know, corporate finance has picked up. America is looking up. And so at the end of the day, there has been good activity there. Europe is seeing a slowdown. Uh, bar, I think, the Nordic region, which has seen good growth in private equity. Uh, China is still there, but uh, I think there's a bit of a slowdown given that GDP rates are down. Uh, Africa's star, as I said, is rising given that it's, uh, the LPs are looking to the GPs to put investments in there. 